Hello YouTubers, it's Underdrummer here with another helpful how-to video. Today I wanted to show you a little bit of how to use Vassal, the open source board game engine. I'll put the links in the description below. You can check out the Vassal website, download a bunch of modules for free, and all in a module is is just basically a board game that people painstakingly scanned into the computer so that people can play the game with people from all over the world. Today I'm going to show you how to to load a module and how to load a continuation to begin a log file and how to end a log file. I have one other Vassal video but I don't talk during it and you kinda just have to pick things up by watching it a couple times. But in this video I'm just going to show you how to load the module any module you have. It all works the same way. How to begin your log file and all a log file is is the file that logs your gameplay so that other players can see it and how to end your log file or save your log file ending and saving your log file are pretty much the same thing and just try to make you familiar with some of the vassal terms so here we go I've already got the vassal module window open you can see here on the left all the uh, modules that I play Arkham Horror, Battle Masters, Betrayal at House on the Hill and this one is Betrayal on House on the Hill with Nate's cards added. So some extra cards have been added into this module. Same thing here with Hero Quest. You can see hero character icons were added. And there's a way to go in. Like I said, it was open source. There's a way to go in and add anything you want. So I created some cards for Betrayal at House on the Hill, some event cards, uh, actually some item cards and I included them in this module so now my group can play with some cards that I created at home here just using you know Photoshop so same thing here we wanted different hero character icons we didn't like the the default icons, so we added our own icon uh, of course Monopoly and then some Star Wars and and some other stuff there but today we're going to be checking out Hero Quest and I will actually take my turn with this group that I'm playing with and talk about it along the way so the way to bring up this Vassal module window is simply click on the Vassal shortcut right here. So all you have to do is click on that. That'll bring up the window. It'll give you a list of all your modules like I was just showing you in the module window here. Uh, it'll show you the module version and it'll show you the Vassal version as well and then a short description and you can change these or add to these descriptions. So you can see we're playing the 0.9 module version of HeroQuest using Vassal version 3.2.15. So you can follow along with me if you have those two. You can go to the Vassal website using the links in the description below and you could follow along with this tutorial if you want. So here's my HeroQuest folder and here's my HeroQuest character icons added Vassal module. That's all a .vmod is. So I double click that to get this window here. So the first step I like to make this big. It always opens up in a uh, horizontal but vertically shortened window. So I make it big. Shows you your version right there, HeroQuest version 0.9. File, load game, and now it automatically takes me to my game folder. You may have to navigate to wherever you keep all your uh, Vassal logs, but when it says load game, it means load a log. That's all it means, to load a log so you can see all the logs and here are the latest ones down here so I am the barbarian so we have a file naming structure that we follow to make things uh, easier to understand we, we number the file and then we list who took the turn and then whose turn is next so this one for example it's vassal log 110 the elf took his turn and next is the dwarf's turn so I believe the last time we left off the GM is the game master and the game master took his turn and then it was the barbarians turn so we'll start from here so all you do is double click this again I'll walk you through it file load game 114 I believe it was and double click this or click once and hit open now it'll open my barbarian turn bring up the you can use this plus and minus sign here on the magnifying glass to increase the to increase the view of the board so you can see the hero icons have been changed. This is, I believe, the wizard, 
and this is the elf. And part of the reason we changed them is, well, I changed my icon, but they chose to keep their icons the same. Uh, the dwarf is dead, I believe. The dwarf just died a couple turns ago. So part of the reason I changed mine to this little picture face, which I just found on the internet, is it was hard to distinguish, like, who's the elf and who's the wizard here? It's kind of hard to tell. The nice thing is, you know, you could just have a big B, a big letter B. So we know that's the barbarian, depending on what works best for you. So I just loaded, it shows here, grayed out, but you can still read it. Loaded Vassal Log 114 Barb GM. Here, you will see me take my turn as the Barbarian, and then the next turn will be the GM. So this button here is known as the Step Forward button. You can also use the Page Down key on your keyboard to step through the log. It's better and easier than just clicking this all day long. So if you click this once, and there's me, I say, well, this is getting out of control, and then you use the Page Down key on your keyboard, you can see it's stepping through. So I'm typing in some text there to my buddies, and then I have to make a roll. But anyways, this is my log I'm stepping through. And then when I finish, when I hit page down, it opens up a, a, a dialog window here that says, do you want to start a new log file because I am at the end of this log file? Now that is an option you can set. You can set that under File, Preferences, Ask to ensure logging after a replay, and I have that checked. So after I replay it, it asks me, hey, do you want to start logging? But I don't want to start logging because this is an old, this is an old uh, log. So I hit no there. And then all I do is go to File, Load Continuation. Very, very important um, option here to use. Load Continuation. The last one I loaded was 114. I can see it because it's still in, my, in the file name dialog uh, text area here. So I just go to 115 and I double click that. Now it has loaded 115, which was the next file in the list. Page down. The game master is known as More Car in uh, Hero Quest, and I just keep hitting page down until the game master's turn is over. Then it asks me again, "Do you want to start a new log file?" No. Load continuation. I believe you can Alt F and then Alt L to load your continuation, and then 116. Now these are all in order. Here we go for the. Uh, we just loaded the 116 elf turn, and then the wizard's turn will be next. So the, the elf is taking their turn, and you know, some stuff happens. No, we still don't want to start a log file. We're going to load another continuation with 117. We're going to see the wizard's turn now. He decides to join the fray. He rolled a skull, which is a hit. So then back to the GM. The game master has to remove the enemy. We as players, we are not allowed to do that. So still, we do not want to start a log file. Load another continuation with 118. And now it will be the Game Master's turn. And you can see, you can you can use this arrow here to step back. You can see the zombie is there. And then when I step forward, the zombie is gone. Because it's logging what the Game Master is doing. After the Game Master removed the last zombie, this zombie stepped forward. And the Game Master is attacking the Elf, and the Elf automatically defends. Uh, the Elf, I believe, needs a white shield to defend, not a black shield. So the Game Master here is changing the body points, or BP, of the Elf from 6 to 5. The zombie did damage to the Elf. And now it's over to the Barbarian. So now it's my turn. Like I said, I am the Barbarian. End of log file. Start new log file? Yes! That's why I have it checked in preferences, so I don't have to go up and click begin log file. If you don't want to use this, I will show you an alternate way to do it. This is the end. I'm page down. I'm clicking forward. You can see the step forward button is grayed out. Nothing is happening, so file, begin log file. That's the, that's the alternate way to do it. I like when it asks me. Now, can I make it ask me again? I've, let's test this out. What if we undo a couple moves and then we forward, forward? Okay, each time it'll ask me. That's good. Yes, start new log file. So what are we going to call this log file according to the con naming convention we use? We're going to call it 119 barb. And then we're not sure who's what's going to happen next. Most likely it's going to go to the elf. As we can see, the pattern is barb elf, barb elf. 
but we may need the game master, so we're just going to leave that blank for now. So we'll just put 119 barb. All we did was begin a log file. I shouldn't say that we've saved it. All we did was begin a log file. Now I can take my turn. We can type to everybody. Good job pulling that blasted zombie. Wizard. Okay, the barbarian, I believe, he's going to go attack this zombie, so you have to roll to move. I believe you get two red dice. So up here is the, is the dice movement tray. Well, I'm not going to go too much into this, but roll my dice. I rolled a six. That's enough to move one to the right. Right-clicking in Vassal is your friend, so right-click on things to uh, bring up contextual menus, just like in Windows. And I'm going to move right. And then we're going to say, die, zombie pig. And we're going to attack. The Barbarian has an attack dice of three and a defend dice of two. Uh, this barbarian is very, very weak. He only has, I only have one body point left because I got a little crazy earlier in the game and uh, we're kind of just learning Hero Quest. I played back when I was a kid, but we're kind of just relearning it here. So uh, I got a little, a little too bold and, and uh, lost most of his life. So I'm taking a chance here attacking the zombie, but I, I can't let my friends stand here and deal with this foe all by themselves. So the barbarian attacks. And then I get to roll my battle dice. And what did we say? The Barbarian gets three attack dice. So three attack dice. Rah! White skulls are good. So I got two skulls and a white shield. Now the zombie has to defend. How do we know what the zombie has? Back up here to display reference cards, monster card. Zombie has defend dice of three, which is a lot. Zombie defends. Try to be as explanatory as possible for the other people playing so they know what you're doing. And then he defends with three. And he got a black shield. That that means he he defended one of my skulls. Anyways, like I said, I'm trying not to go too much into it, but so the zombie is dead. And we may survive this after all. Probably not, though. We still have quite a ways to go and many guys to fight. Okay, so my, my logging is done. We're going to come up here and go file, end log file. Now, if you don't end the log file, it will not save. It will not save. It's like you, you opened a Word document in Microsoft Word and you're editing it and then you just X out without saving. So you got to end the log file. That's the same thing as saving. Now, save game is is a completely different thing. It will save the state that the game is in right now, but it will not save the log. So, you know, if you're playing with somebody across the country, you know, they need to see what you did. And there's probably certain games where you could just save the game and they can kind of figure out, oh, he's got more money, he moved three spaces. They can kind of figure out, but you're not really using Vassal the correct way if you do that. Log files are the way that is what makes Vassal so cool. And save game is kind of nice too. This here, not logging, but just saving a game, is kind of nice in, if you just want to save a state. Like, you know, see, this is where we were. If you put the game down for six months and you come back to it, saving the game like that would be nice. So end log file. It says down here, grayed out, but it will show you log file written. Okay, so I'm just going to minimize this and we'll go to, let's go to where we save our vassal logs and scroll down here. And we can see 119 barb. This file will not show up until you hit end log file. If you come to check your folder where you, where you save all your logs, you won't see it until you hit end log file. So let's right click and rename this barb GM. Now the GM knows he's got to do something before it goes on to the elf. And make sure that this works. Another interesting, cool little trick is even if you don't have a specific module open, even if you have an open vassal itself, you can just double click on any vlog and it'll open the module library window and then it'll also open that specific module and your specific log like you just saw it do there.
So it says loaded 119 Barb GM. So we can step through and see my turn. Shows what I wrote there. Good job killing that blasted zombie wizard. Anyways, shows what I rolled. Shows my guy, my character icon. Actually moved to the right. Uh, again, shows what I'm writing, what I rolled, what the zombie defended. And then it's end of log file. Then I just copy this file and I put it in Dropbox. You can send it through email, but we use Dropbox. Now the other players will occasionally check their Dropbox that we share and they'll see, oh, the barbarian took his turn. We also have uh, Google Docs that we use to communicate. So I'll go on there and post a heads up. Hey, it's your turn. But I just kind of wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to use Vassal Logs and how to pass them along to your friends. So if you find this interesting at all, check out the Vassal website in the description below. And also, I started a Vassal Google Plus community. If you want to come over and join, it's free to join. Uh, anybody is accepted. You do have to ask to join, and then I'll let you in. But um, we're always looking for more players. And right now, we're doing a Hero Quest. We're doing a Betrayal at House on the Hill, which is another fun one. And we are getting ready to uh, start some um, Dead of Winter, which I guess is kind of like Betrayal at House on the Hill maybe with some uh, some different rules. So anyways, if this has helped you, remember to like and subscribe, and uh, hope to see you over at the Vassal website or in the Google Plus community. Thanks for watching, guys. You've been hanging out with Underdrummer. Talk to you later.